show you guys what I got my kids for Christmas. This has been one of my biggest video requests. You guys have been asking me to show you guys what I got my kids for Christmas. So here I am. I'm going to show you guys what I got them. I do want to put a disclaimer out there because I have to and some people just think you're trying to show off and brag and all that. I'm not trying to brag or show off any of the things I got. This has been a highly requested video. Everyone's doing them. Everyone's filming them. I've seen people get their things a lot of stuff. Like I've seen people get their kids not a lot of things and that's perfectly fine. That is your decision and you can buy your kids whatever you want. So this year I feel like <laughs> has been one of the years we've spent the most money <laughs> on our children. Um, we kind of we tried to be fair with both of them. I have I now put everything all together here. Now that I took everything out and I see everything, I don't know why it feels like I didn't get my kids a lot of stuff, which I'm sure I did because my bank account said otherwise. I did get the kids a lot of combined gifts. I'm going to go ahead and start on each child. So I'm going to start with Amelia's gifts first and then I'm going to start I'm going to show Ethan's and then I'm going to show you guys what I got for both of them. So one of her gifts was this Melissa and Doug chunky puzzle we actually have like maybe one or two of these that were ethan's um and i wanted to get her her own so i got her this one and this was only seven dollars at tj maxx and i love the melissa and doug puzzles now the next thing i got i feel like she's a little bit too little to play with this but she is obsessed with her brother's fingerling so i decided to get her this i saw this at sam's club and they had a really good deal on it and it's just a fingerling but this has the entire like jungle gym and everything and yeah there's two in here i'm sure my kids can share it um i try to make them share everything but this is basically what it looks like and but this gift is going to be for amelia and i think she's gonna really like it next thing we got amelia is this starshine the bright lights unicorn um and it's just this unicorn she or she me i'm obsessed with unicorns and i try to get her everything unicorn thing <laughs> she likes unicorns too but i don't think she likes them nearly as much as i do but this is it and I got this at target i got a lot of their gifts on black friday so i didn't pay full price for any of these gifts but this is it and I think it's super cute. The next thing I got Amelia is this baby alive doll. Um, I'm I'm sorry you guys can see like the reflection, but I'm trying to do my best here. We're sitting in front of my doors. Um, but I got her this baby alive, and this is the closest I could find that it looked like her, even though this one has kind of this doll has like greenish eyes. Um but this is the closest I could find and she cries and I think she poops too. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. No, she doesn't poop, thank goodness. But you know, she cries. <laughs> Which ones I feel like they're, you can't win. Either they cry or they poop, right? I got her this one, and I think it's really cute. I think she's going to really love it. Amelia is really into, like, plushies. She's really into stuffed animals and dolls, and I'm sure she's going to absolutely love this. The next thing I got her was this unicorn, and it comes with a backpack and a ton of, like, medical supplies. So... It's a bar it's actually from made from Barbie. Yeah, this is a Barbie kiss and care unicorn doctor. So she's basically the doctor and she has to take care of her unicorn. I love that it comes with a backpack and the accessories are not that small. Um, so they're not like something she could choke on. So yeah, I got her this. And I remember this was actually on sale for $13 at Target. I think it's originally $24.99. So I got a really good deal on it and I think she's gonna love it plus she loves unicorns like I said and anything plushed or stuffed animal she loves and this is super soft so I think she's gonna really love this the next thing I got Amelia is the fire 7 kids edition Amazon tablet I got it in pink for her we haven't activated it yet or anything like that so um, it's still in the box, but the day of Christmas, we're actually going to activate it, set it up, and just have it ready for them to use. It includes a black Fire 7 tablet. It comes with this pink case, which is, like, super good. A two-year worry-free guarantee, a one-year of Amazon free time unlimited, and the case. So, that's what I got. And this was, this was $65. I actually got both of the kids one. I'll show you Ethan's in a minute. But, um, I, I paid $120 for both. So, like... No, for 60 bucks each. I can't do math. But yeah, they were $60 each. 
and I'm really excited about this because this is going to save my life. Yes, you guys, I give my kids my phone or something when we're out and they're just giving me a hard time and I needed a tablet for each of them because they're at that stage where they fight for things. They're fighting over my phone and I need to breathe, okay? Okay? So yeah, I got her a tablet i'm really excited about this <laughs> actually i'm i think this is more a gift for me than for my kids <laughs> and the last thing i got for amelia i'm really excited about is this chair and to your surprise i'm sure it's a unicorn so the reason I got her this chair is because we were actually at Kmart. My local Kmart was closing. I'm not sure if all Kmarts are closing, but I had not gone into Kmart in years since I lived in New York. And I went into Kmart and they had this on sale for like 30 or something dollars. I think it was $28 or something. It wasn't a huge sale because on Amazon it was the same price. But at the time I thought it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And we kind of like put it out and she was with us. And she sat on it she did she cried when we got her off of it she was begging for it she didn't want to let it go so my husband and i just looked at each other like we need to get her this so um we bought it for her even though he put her in the car and then he went back inside to buy her this because he didn't want her to see it even though she doesn't really understand but we wanted her to kind of forget about it um but i know she's gonna love it amelia is into stuff like this like she'll sit on this and she probably won't won't get up she'll watch movies on this play in her new tablet with this <laughs> yeah i got her this and i love it so much i kind of wish they had boy ones like elephant or the they had I, their website had elephant one and a monkey one but ethan is so big that he it would just look funny if he was sitting on this so we didn't get it for him but plus he didn't really care for it that much but i kind of wanted to get them a set and i really wanted initially i love the pottery barn ones but they are so expensive can't imagine spending that kind of money on a chair for my children so initially i wanted a pottery barn one but i talk myself out of it because it's really expensive and then i found this one for only 30 bucks and i wish i could find ethan one but he's a really big kid so i don't know if i will but yeah so we got her this one so the next thing i got for emilia is these pjs they're actually both kids are going to get matching pjs i couldn't find the one i really really wanted for her they all sold out but i found this one and it's still really cute and then to go with it i got her some unicorn slippers so what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna wrap these i'm gonna give these to them on the 24th um we're hispanic so we celebrate christmas on the 24th with our family and then the kids open their presents at midnight i say midnight because my kids can't stay up till 12 so usually we'll open them like at 9 30 10 p.m um let me know how if you're a latino family or hispanic let me know in the comments how you guys do it because i still want my kids to like believe in the whole santa claus thing they believe in santa claus and all of that but it's really really hard for me to do that like you know they wake up in the morning there's no gifts so let me know how you guys do it we're still going to do the whole cookies for santa thing but we're thinking of doing everything on the 23rd the night of the 23rd and then kind of on the 24th have the gifts out and i make them wait till 10 or 9 p.m i don't know i we're really stumped on that but let me know what you guys do in the comments if you're hispanic or you have the hispanic traditions and you celebrate on the 24th with your family and friends or basically your family and you open gifts at midnight let me know because we're having a hard time trying to figure out how we're gonna do the whole santa thing but also you know we have traditions and all that but I don't know if my question made any sense but anyways we're gonna give them these on christmas i'm thinking on the 20 christmas eve that's what i mean um we're gonna give them these in the morning time or at night time or something and then they could wear it before they open up their presents so i still haven't decided what i'm gonna do with these yet okay now moving on to ethan's gifts i think i got him a little bit more than amelia but he is older so I don't know but we'll see <laughs> so the first thing i have here is a hatchimal we got him the hatchimal babies will you hatch a boy or girl so basically i don't know what's in here i'm not sure if it's a boy or girl we don't care but he has been wanting a hatchimals for a really long time last year he wanted one first of all they were super expensive they were going for a lot of money because they were a really hot item like everyone and their mother wanted hatchimals so we didn't get him hatchimals last year because i was not about to pay an upseller hundreds of dollars for a toy that my kid would use maybe for like a month and then get over it so 
I got him this one for only $35 on sale. And I say only because, trust me, they were like 60 bucks last year or something. But, um... Yeah, he's gonna get a hatch mold. So Ethan is really into surprise blind bags or mystery bags, things like that. And he's lately been into the brand Squishies. So we ended up finding this set. It comes with 12 limited edition Squishies. They're super like amazing. They're like a stress relief or something. Ethan loves these. He loves collecting anything. And I got him this one. And these were only $20, which I was pretty surprised because I thought they were going to be more expensive. Because each of these, when you buy a mystery bag, are five bucks. So you're getting your money's worth from this box. The only thing is, they're not a surprise because you can clearly see what's in there. But I don't think he would care. I think just collecting them would be more than enough for him. And they have a ton in here. Super cute. So this toy is really random. Ethan loves trolls, but we were actually at our friend Jennifer's house um, several weeks ago and her daughter had a ton of little trolls toys and Ethan became obsessed with them. I remember he didn't even want to give them back. He was crying. So my husband and I went out and got him some troll toys. We actually got these from Kmart when they were closing. They weren't that big a sale. They were, I think, nine bucks for this box. So we got th these come with four trolls. And he's going to be really excited about this. I hate the reflection, but this is it. The next thing we got him were two sets of Hot Wheels. And yeah, they just come. This one comes with like a truck. He doesn't actually have a truck. So we wanted to get him that one. And it just comes with that. And then we got him these as well. So this is one of his big gifts, I guess. Um, this Hot Wheels set. This is the corkscrew crash track set. So there you go. So it looks like he wanted this and I got it for him. And those tr those cars will go with this even though he already has a ton. But um, you can never have too many cars when you're a little boy. He loses them all the time and then he finds them and he just loves to collect them. So that's what we got him. We also got him a fire tablet, the same one we got Amelia. Um, so that's what he's getting and it comes in a blue case okay next i got him this um magnet drawing board he's been really into drawing lately and the only reason i got him this i wanted to get him like one of those crayola set things but i think i'm gonna give that to him maybe for easter or something but um we found these on sale for only i think three dollars at kmart so i went ahead and picked it up for him and i'm thinking he's gonna give the little one to his sister i'm pretty sure he will because he's that sweet and he'll keep the big one for himself so i guess this is for both of them um but it, we're gonna put it for ethan and yeah so he got we got him this last but definitely not least this is huge you guys better love me because it took a lot of me to take it to get this out for you guys because my husband is not here to help me and i'm gonna have to put all these gifts away before ethan gets home which he should be home in about an hour and a half the school bus will drop him off so i need to get i need to hide all of this before he gets here and this is so heavy but ugh, this is basically his big gift or like his santa gift or something i'm not sure but i'm trying to show you guys we got him a bike he has literally you guys can't even see me he's literally been begging for a bicycle for the longest time and we got this one on black friday um for only 44 dollars, which was a really really good deal and it's just blue it's really pretty just show you guys one more time because it's heavy i got that out of the way those are all the gifts for ethan like i said i think he's getting a lot more than amelia is but he is older um actually no hold on i did forget something same matching pjs for him and then some paw patrol slippers so we're gonna give them these on christmas eve so they can wear when they open up their presents and then they'll go to bed because they're not gonna stay up to play <laughs> okay so for combined gifts this is their big combined present and this is just a play kitchen this is so cute i got this on black friday for only 70 dollars i did have people in the comments tell me in my last video that this kitchen was actually smaller than they thought ethan's a really big boy but i think we're gonna have to just make it work because i don't even have a lot of space for a huge kitchen maybe in my next home i'll have more space but for now this one will have to do it's really cute let me see if i can show you guys closer here it is it is 
really nice. I would have posted a stock photo of this, but I can't find it online anymore. They're sold out, or I'm not sure, but I can't find it. But this is it. Um, it's really cute, and they really need a kitchen. They have like a plastic kitchen that is so beat up that Ethan has had since he was like 18 months or something. So we're gonna get rid of that kitchen and then give them this one. And we do plan on building all of these things the 23rd at night or this is why i'm having such a difficult time deciding what we're gonna do or if we're just gonna hide these and then take these out the 24th at night and then like have built it with them on the 25th i'm not sure what we're gonna do again let me know in the comments what you do if you're a hispanic family because we're having a really hard time trying to figure out what we're gonna do for them or our other thought was, I know I keep going off track because I'm really struggling with this. Our other thought was just taking out the Santa gifts, not giving it to them on the 24th, but actually having them open it on the 25th at night. So basically, basically like one gift each and then like their kitchen and just setting it up for them and having them wake up on the 25th and that's their Santa gifts and their stockings. That's was, that is what I was thinking, but we will see. Let me know what you guys do. And then to go with their kitchen, I got them the Melissa and Doug kitchen accessories. And I really wanted to get the the pots and pans, but they were a little bit expensive, even though this cost the same, but it had a lot more things to go with it. So this comes with the pot and pans, with a cookie sheet, a spatula, salt and pepper shakers, two plates and forks and knives and spoons, olive oil, two cups, a timer, dish towel, an oven mitt. So it comes with quite a lot of things. I think this was like $24 when I bought it. So yeah, that's what I got for them. The next thing I got, I got this at TJ Maxx. It is a cutting board or I mean, a cutting board, cutting food. So basically you can cut it and it's all wooden food. Well, it has a little bit of everything. It has fruits and everything. So yeah, this is gonna go with their kitchen. And the last combined gifts I, I got them were the Melissa and Doug Dust and Sweep Mop. So basically it's this cleaning kit. <laughs> basically it comes with all of this here. And this was $26. Um, but yeah, that is all I got my kids for Christmas. This was intense, you guys. It was intense. I have a mess now that I have to put away before Ethan gets home. I forgot to tell you guys what we do for Christmas, kind of, sorta, not really. I think I've mentioned it throughout the, the entire video. But how we do Christmas is basically a lot of these gifts are from mom and dad because mom and dad spend the money for it. Mom and dad work their butts off for it. And um, Santa didn't. <laughs> this is just the truth. Um, but we still want our kids to believe in Santa Claus and to have that excitement that Santa Claus is bringing them something. So our big gifts for each kid is gonna be, the Santa gift for Ethan will probably be his Hatchimal. And for Amelia, it will probably be her Baby Alive doll. And then their big present from Santa for both of them will be their kitchen. Um, the reason I do it like this is, A, I used, about two years ago, I used to just give Ethan all his gifts and say they were from Santa and not take any credit for it. But here's the thing, and this is the reality, and this is how we do things, and it works for us to each their own. But a lot of children aren't as fortunate, or maybe my kids aren't as fortunate as other kids, and it just seems unfair to me to say that Santa Claus gave them everything, and then when they ask someone else what Santa Claus gave them, Santa Claus only gave them one toy. You know, it, I think the way we want to do it is just like santa claus gives you one toy mom and dad give you what they can give you and that's just how we want to do it we don't want santa claus to take the credit for everything so santa claus will do their one gift each and then their big combined gift and then their stockings that's going to be from santa claus the rest is from mom and dad because like i said we've worked our butts off for all of this and um i think our kids should know that we got it for them and that we put a lot of time and money and all that into their stuff so that's basically how we do it it's what works for my family and we started doing this last year and it turned out fine um but let me know in the comments what you guys do for christmas if you guys do all of your gifts from santa or you do the gifts or you don't believe in santa let me know in the comments i think it's super fun to hear how everyone does their you know their, their christmas traditions everyone's different and there's no right or wrong way to do it yeah let me know in the comments what you guys do for your kids for christmas what traditions you guys have if you celebrate christmas or what holiday you celebrate 
I would love to hear all about it. And please, please help me out in the comments about the whole Santa Claus thing and how I can do that for my kids because I'm having a really hard time. I'm struggling here, you guys. I am struggling. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys got for your kids. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, I'm going to have a what's in my kids stocking very soon. I think that's the next video after this one. So really stay on the lookout for that because you guys have also been requesting that video. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, spend my time running around Keeping people please But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you